the most important law of money, give, and you shall receive. Instead, he believed in, receive, and then you give. In. And the more people you have indebted to you, the wealthier you are. That's the game. Rich Dad constantly reminded Mike and me that the biggest bully was not the boss or the supervisor, but the tax man. Most people, given more money, only get into more debt. But most importantly, he felt the words, I can't afford it, were a lie. And the human spirit knows it. The human spirit is very, very powerful, he would say. It knows it can do anything. By having a lazy mind that says, I can't afford it, a war breaks out inside you. Your spirit is angry, and your lazy mind must defend its lie. The spirit is screaming, come on. Let's go to the gym and work out. And the lazy mind says, but I'm tired. I worked really hard today. Or the human spirit says, I'm sick and tired of being poor. Let's get out there and get rich. To which the lazy mind says, rich people are greedy. Besides it's too much bother. It's not safe. I might lose money. I'm working hard enough as it is. I've got too much to do at work anyway. Look at what I have to do tonight. My boss wants it finished by morning. I chose not to listen to my poor dad, even though he was the one with all the college degrees. The main cause of poverty or financial struggle is fear and ignorance, not the economy or the government or the rich. It's self-inflicted fear and ignorance that keep people trapped. The rich buy assets. The poor only have expenses. The middle class buy liabilities they think are assets. One dad had a habit of saying, I can't afford it. The other dad forbade those words to be used. He insisted I ask, how can I afford it? One is a statement, and the other is a question. One lets you off the hook, and the other forces you to think. Most people went to school and never learned how money works, so they spend their lives working for money. We'll list a few, first, the don't wants, for they create the wants. I don't want to work all my life. I don't want what my parents aspired for, which was job security and a house in the suburbs. I don't like being an employee. I hated that my dad always missed my football games because he was so busy working on his career. I hated it when my dad worked hard all his life and the government took most of what he worked for at his death. He could not even pass on what he worked so hard for when he died. The rich don't do that. They work hard and pass it on to their children. Now the wants. I want to be free to travel the world and live in the lifestyle I love. I want to be young when I do this. I want to simply be free. I want control over my time and my life. I want money to work for me. Those are my deep-seated emotional reasons. What are yours? Building your asset column doesn't take hard math, but it does take courage and the right attitude toward failure. Give what you want first and it will come back in buckets. That is true for money, a smile, love, or friendship. Knowledge is power, all they have to do is wait for the opportunity to use their knowledge and then they'll have the money.